always rushing, just like last trip to Taiwan before pandemic. Now they were Singapore. Again, I came here two hours earlier. But then one person had a counter to spoil my leave a little. Lah. No way, Ernie is gonna leave a little. Singapore, here I come. Very happy, first one, first item in Singapore. Finally, back over here in Singapore at Bugis Street on Bugis Junction. I've come here many, many times. This is Yakun. Since my ex boss brought me to the original, where the charcoal grill, the toast, which is not here yet, the eggs are almost perfect, high quality control, and great coffee. So come and check it out at Yakun Kaya and Toast. In Singapore, shopping, shopping. Just got me my Under Armour, big brand that I always wear. You know why? Because I'm Little Rock from Malaysia. Boogie Street, where you get all the good souvenirs at very good prices. So you gotta come and check it out at Boogie Street. I'm gonna check it out right now. I'm now on Waterloo Street where I noticed there are a lot of people lining up. I think it's for Wesak Day because I saw a lot of Wesak Day. And over here, there's two main temples. One is for the Chinese and one is for the Indian. For the Chinese one, it's called Wall Street Kuang In Tong Temple. A lot of people lining up buying flowers and also joysticks to just walk in there and do their prayers. And of course, behind me, over here is Sri Krishnan Building. Not open, but hey, the Chinese are also praying there. So I suppose we are really Singaporean, Malaysians. We like to pray to all gods as long as it blesses with more wealth, more fortune and better health. So come and check it out at Waterloo Street. We are now at the National Design Centre of Singapore. Of course, you walk down the streets, there's more artsy-fartsy. And now checking out all the uh, design work over the last 50 years. What is Singapore made of? obviously starts with a vision of the design of how it's supposed to be laid out. I'm going to take you through and check it out. I have just arrived to Orchard Road and I'm here in Ion Orchard Road. As usual, people always come to Orchard Road for shopping but today there's so many other places in Singapore but you still gotta come to Orchard Road if you're in Singapore because it's still the hottest place. Check out the people man, everyone's back out shopping. This is the famous Orchard Road ice cream waffle or with the rainbow bread. I've been eating this every single time I come to Singapore when I'm young till now. I'm close to 50, I'm still eating this uncle. Check him out man. He is iconic on Orchard Road. Nothing can replace. We are now at Clark Key. As usual, whenever you come to Singapore, you want to chill out and have a good cold beer. A lot of people go to a lot of places, but I always want to come to Hooters because you can some sexy hot girl service only in Asia, in Singapore, the first. And you're not going to get this in Malaysia. So you want to check out the Hooters girls that's all over America, you can come to Clark Key, Singapore. I've visited a lot of Hooters all over the world, especially in America when I was studying and working there. And 
now I'm back again to the only hooters in the whole of Asia, Singapore. Every single time I come, I gotta come here. Why? Just a chill place with some really good buffalo wings and of course the fried pickles, which is one of my favorites, right? Hoi wai hao. And then of course the buffalo wings with shrimps and also everything you can think of, right? With the house sauce. More importantly, relax, some good looking servers, hot and sexy, just like me. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Marina Bay or the Singapore River Walk right behind. You see the Marina Bay Sands. We're going to check it out later tonight because a lot of things look a lot better at night because the lights will come on and that's where Singapore life comes to life. You know, smart countries like Singapore, they really know how to optimize what they have. So they have a whole entire river right smack in the middle of the city. They make full use of it to become the river walk of Singapore. And what do you do with the river walk of Singapore? You then build the Marina Bay Sands, right? Beautiful. And you build the Esplanade. You build the Merlion Historical to represent Singapore. So the whole idea is always remember, make full use of what you have. And Singapore does that exceptionally well. Right behind, there's an open amphitheater for live band and this is what Singaporeans are good at. Optimize everything. And sometimes that's what Malaysians need to be learning how to do. Leverage on what we have. There's so many cities, so many great bands. But now let's talk about Singapore. Right at Esplanade, lots of cool places for you to have lots of fun, drink and lots of live show. Both inside and outside. Come and check out Singapore, man. Amazing place. Even though after so many times, I'm still back for lots of fun. Check it out. This of all the people who have put their heart and soul to sacrifice for years for Singapore arts. Are you willing to do that for your country? Singapore arts have what they have today thanks to these individuals. I'm closing off day one tonight on supper because I didn't have dinner with this Geylang Law. Lorong Sembilan Sembilan. Sembilan pula. Lorong Sembilan. In Geylang, of course. And used to be famous for prostitution. But now, as usual, we got to have this porridge, right? We have it in SS2. Came here to check out the original and see whether it's as good or better than SS2. I'm going to dig in. Fried ones over here. Really good. Frog legs, lots of frog legs, kung bo frog legs, fried frog legs, garlic, and also frog legs inside the porridge as well. Lots of frog legs. Unfortunately, so you frogs, all your legs are here with me. I'm gonna enjoy myself. <laughs> <laughs> 